Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty big drama going on right now with the PlayStation 5, and apparently some parts of the PlayStation 5 actually melting as of, well, this past big, big weekend. So if you guys do or do not know, the PlayStation has been mostly running, fingers crossed, pretty good for most folks with the occasional issue. But right now, a lot of folks are highlighting up a really, really kind of well, not good and kind of spicy situation when it comes to the PlayStation 5 and how it's kind of basically falling flat when it comes to when it is important. Now, that kind of may, might make a little bit of sense once I dive in the video, but basically there has been some big drama going on right now, some tournaments, consoles, and everything else in between, even from a place itself that Sony even owns. So, I'm going to talk about this and give me your thoughts and comments down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We only have, like, I think maybe one or two days left on our brand new Howl promotion with Samsung. We're doing, like, hashtag Samsung ads. So, if you guys want to check out all the three links down below for the tablets, the phones, and the watches for pre-orders or whatever. We're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel as, as thanks for all of you guys who have checked it out in the next few days to so be on the lookout for that, but definitely check them out. We have the Twitter and Twitch down below if you guys want to follow, and of course, subscribe if you guys are new. Let's dive into the video itself. So, as you guys know, the PlayStation 5 is a console, and what do consoles use? USB. And, well, what do some big game tournaments, such as EVO, which is a really big fighting game tournament, if for some odd reason you guys do not know, that Sony actually does own a part of, well, they typically will use these consoles in professional settings. But that has actually led to some really, really big drama where now this has been two kind of twofold. Number one is that we're hearing about this at the, like, the actual tournament itself, but also number two, on the fact of like this actually may be an issue that's been more widespread for other folks too as well, because more people have been coming out of the woodwork. So, first and foremost, we have the article over here saying the PS5 USB ports were portally melted at Evo 2023 eSports tournament. Sony runs this, so Sony does own Evo. Like, this is actually like a proper thing that they have bought. They want to be a part of this. They want to work with this. They want to use that and in integrate that into the place. PlayStation ecosystem, encourage competitive gaming, and whatever, and this actually was held in Las Vegas over this past weekend, so it was kind of cool that I think even they gave the key to the city to the actual event itself. It was a really fun experience. I think a lot of people saw it. It was streamed up on Twitch, uh, like fighting game people. If you guys are familiar, probably know Evo, like it's a pretty big deal, but these consoles were apparently not doing so good, so Evo 2023 fighting game tournament attendees reported problems with damaged PlayStation 5 USB ports over the weekend. Participants took uh, to social channels and also via to Kotaku to show and tell accounts of USB accessories that were seemingly getting too hot and they were melting when plugged into the event's numerous PS5 consoles. So, to kind of give you guys the highlight on this, there has been the occasional issue on the public side, like of just general people everywhere, bringing up the fact that sometimes their consoles heat. So think more of like the back plating or the heat exhaust out into, and typically where all these like HDMI and USB ports may end up into, uh, have actually had issues with their consoles quite literally melting. Now this either has like very, this is a rare issue, but it's more kind of intriguing that's happening during a, like actual event that Sony is sponsored by, and no one's actually checking this, but there actually has been cases of things having like the outside back, like those little air vent things. If you guys have a console, you guys know what I mean. Having partial melting issues if someone's doing a big marathon gaming. Now, typically, I'd probably just assume that's just from like maybe the heat or just like bad airflow or just someone almost being unlucky. I've had no issues with my console myself. But apparently now this has been a big widespread issue, especially with the tournament. So the current Google and former Meta and Microsoft AR engineer Eduardo Cuervo, who said he attended the event for the first time this year, posted on Twitter the photo below of the controller's USB port plug that included melted pieces of the PS5's blue port. Mine was not the only controller that melted down. He wrote, this is just terrible. You need to do something about that lack of heat dissipation, especially if you're going to be using a PS5s in tournaments. So as you guys can maybe have a little bit of a quicker zoom on over here, once again, this has like apparently in a very seldom case, okay, very seldom, like it's not like you should have to be super worried about it, have had, and I've seen this happen, like I do a lot of PlayStation news, I've seen the occasional tweets, Reddit posts, or just on trends of people complaining about it. I just never thought it was a big issue because there is a lot of random, like very things that could happen, like I'm sure you guys would agree. But if you guys see the picture over here, which is actually up here on Twitter too as well, if you guys want to see the actual tweet itself, saying, what the heck, PlayStation, my on yum, no idea, ought to USB plug melted during my match at Evo. Mine was not the only controller that melted down. This is just terrible. You need to do something about that lack of heat dissipation, especially if you'll be using and forcing people to use PlayStation 5s in tournaments. So I was right up the initial tweet over here too as well, where there are folks saying Evo is is proving that the PS5 is not 
The answer, USB ports are melting like cray. KLQ, a USB and his controller melted, so other folks besides like this Cloud Raven. This is not isolated. We need to go PC or Xbox at least. So let me kind of give my thoughts on this first. I'm sure the PlayStation 5 consoles have been fine, and this hopefully will not be a widespread issue. I don't want to, like, if you ever have an all-caps kind of crazy title, some people do get worried about that. I just want to reassure you guys it does not seem like this is a massively widespread issue. But obviously, if you're in a really hot spot like a Florida, Arizona, Nevada, or, you know, even Texas, and you're also playing, because don't forget, you're using your console, GPU has to get rid of the heat somehow. You know, the good old law of equivalent exchange over there. Plus, also, if your house is hot, the room is hot, maybe you're in a big crowded place like an Evo, etc. Like, you do have to be somewhat mindful. Because things can and will melt. Like, it's not like a crazy, crazy thing, but it does happen. But it's crazier that this was at a PlayStation event, because, like, Sony does own, uh, you know, Evo itself, and they're probably going to be using, like, PlayStations there, because, duh, they own them, they want people util utilizing them, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. It's weird because people are now complaining about the actual hardware. And don't forget, this has been out for like a few years. It seems like a very strange issue to have brought up in an actual tournament. It's very strange to see. So the incident appears common enough that multiple users have echoed the complaints. After my Street Fighter opponent, my opponent courteously took out my cord for me and out came with it the PS5 USB receiver. Reddit user Syrupy Serial, weird name, broke my junk food cable right then and there. Didn't find out until I had my first match for Grand Blue Fantasy just another fighting game, and feeling like an idiot that I couldn't plug in my cable to my PS5. Lo and behold, the guy who took, who yanked it out earlier, also took a souvenir from the other PS5. So these, like, PS5s are quite literally melting off as people are trying to remove all these cables. And also, it's kind of an annoying thing, too, just to chime in on that story. It's kind of annoying that someone else removed their stuff and ended up breaking it. That's also, that would probably not sit well with me at all. I would not want anyone touching my stuff, especially in a tournament, and especially, like, if I don't know them. But that's just me, you know, whatever. So it isn't clear what was behind these apparent overheatings, but this is over pretty much everywhere. And this is far from the first esports tournament to use PS5 systems as well, which is why it's such an interesting thing. And there haven't exactly been similar widespread complaints about melting ports before, which I want to remind you guys, I have seen it on occasion, but not big, not widespread, not like we have to be probably too, too worried about it, but it's worrisome enough that we saw this at an actual convention. Uh, so, of course, competitions like Evo include highly unusual conditions, and one thing I was maybe thinking, too, is maybe the can, like maybe just they were on for a very, very long time, and I'm not talking like a 12-hour gaming session, which is, in theory, still long, but maybe they were up for like a week. Like, you know, you never know, because if you're also there in like Vegas heat, you're also there in general maybe doing a lot of testing beforehand, so like, let's think like as you're setting up the tables and booths, uh, setting up the consoles, electricals, and turning on the consoles and plugging them into TVs and all these setups that people will be using for the turn. Tournament. So maybe like that was also an issue because maybe they just kept them on all day, like multiple, like long, long sessions because they don't want to maybe mess up if they thought it was already like working well. So there's always all the other possibility. Plus, it's just overall hot. Plus, a lot of people kind of go into these USB things. It would make a lot of sense. So basically, yeah, they had had people line the stuff up before, too, as well. And then maybe plugging in and out through all these different types of weekends. Some attendees speculate that people plugged in unsupported USB converters, too, as well, which allowed them to use incompatible controllers. So maybe just imagine like, let's say you need to have 50 like electrical protection units and you're doing like 80 and like you're just basically blown out the systems there's always a chance that too as well they go say not all device uh, or also created in terms of quality who says they attended the event as well and for ps5 some people were reliant on converters like the wingman as their sticks are natively P uh, compatible so think like more of like a fighting stick where it has like those little like joysticks and controllers and stuff like that instead of a proper ps5 controller they also estimated the convention area sat around a comfortable 70 72 degrees the entire weekend and the event organizers took no chance in the comp uh, championship rounds and the finals every time there's an ad break they were swapping out ps5s which is good like this was a bit of like a bad Bad uh, article at the start, but at least there was people basically trying their best to go and like try to fix it, try to adjust it, swapping out consoles, and that it is nice because well. I mean, as long as everything was working well, that'd be nice. But at the same time, like, maybe just more for the general issues. Maybe the quality control is bad. I'm not sure. It was, like, one of those things that there's a lot of could have happens, but we don't necessarily fully know. Besides the fact that consoles and PlayStations were melting all throughout this entire, well, week. So we haven't had a proper official statement on it as of so far. But it does go instinct to see this at the end of the day. And I want to hear your thoughts and comments, too. There's also a really big Ballers Gate issue. But some of you guys know they have not changed the release date. I have been playing this on PC. Very good game. 
game. I actually even ran this character as of yesterday. Uh, very, very good game. I will give you guys a uh, highly recommend it for the PlayStation if you guys want. Make sure you guys go and check in all the how links down below. We'll have one or two days left on our Samsung hashtag ad and partnership for all three links down below and in the comment section. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream if you guys want to follow. Amazon links too as well, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.